Sebastian Gorka used to be an advisor to the president. Now, luckily, uh, he was kicked out in August. Um, his main job was to go on TV and say outrageous things in defense of Donald Trump. And of course, Donald Trump loved that, but uh, cooler heads prevailed and uh, Gorka's out now. Now he has some weird comical role as defender of MAGA or something. I'll get to that in a sec. Um, anyway, he was on Sinclair Broadcasting and he also has a role with them because Sinclair Broadcasting, if you are subjected to them uh, in your neck of the woods, they own a lot of local TV stations. They are deeply right wing, they don't mind doing propaganda at all, and they will pretend that it is news. So they have Gork on as an analyst. Now they're talking about the issue of gun violence in America and what happened in the Las Vegas shooting. But Gorka doesn't want to talk about that because then that might lead to gun control. So instead, he blames blacks. But hold, wait a minute, the Las Vegas shooter wasn't remotely black, he was completely white. Who cares, I'm gonna blame blacks anyway, but wait. I'm not just gonna blame blacks, I'm gonna blame black Africans. What? Watch. You do not make legislation out of outliers. Our big issue is black African gun crime against black Africans. It is a tragedy. Go to Chicago, go to the cities run by Democrats for 40 years. Black young men are murdering each other by the bushel. This is a social issue. Allow the police to do their jobs and rebuild those societies. Legislation will not save lives. I assume what but, he's talking about is African Americans. But, yes. And, well, that's not what you said. I couldn't figure out with who these African, African Americans. Uh, so a lot of people call him a Bond villain, but he actually sounds more like an Austin Powers villain to me. Uh, these black Africans and the gun crimes that they are committing. But wait a minute, we were talking about Las Vegas. That doesn't have anything to do with black people. It was a white guy shooting at a country music dance. What does that have to do with black people in Chicago? By the way, of course, he's lying. Oh, it's outrageous crime and for the last 40 years in those inner cities controlled by Democrats. Actually, the crime rate has been going down precipitously in the last 15 years. So, of course, not true at all, but he doesn't care. He just keeps on saying it anyway. And what in the world is a black African? What are you talking about? But he, all he wants to say is well, the blacks, the blacks, the Africans, the blacks, the Africans. Okay, then later, uh, one of the panelists uh, challenged them on this. Uh, and it was actually uh, someone who was a Maryland State delegate, Jolene Ivey. And she said, wait a minute, this issue is way more complicated. First of all, unfortunately, they fell for the bait. And instead of talking about gun control, they immediately started having a conversation about whether blacks are the uh, main cause of violence in America. What does that have to do with Las Vegas? Okay, but it, it fell for the bait, okay, fine. Then they get into that conversation and she says, maybe it might be slightly more sophisticated. Socioeconomic conditions uh, might matter in this equation. He's like, nope, no, it doesn't matter. And then he said this, uh, he said, you think it's a geographic function? Because she said, well, look, it might be because of how compact the cities are and the high uh, rate of poverty within those cities and it creates a vicious cycle. He says, you think it's a geographic function? If they move out of their neighborhood, it will be fine, right? If they move to another neighborhood? In other words, Gorka is saying, it doesn't matter where you move black people. They're still going to be black Africans and commit crime. <sighs> this is a guy that Trump loved. And he sent him all over TV to represent him. <laughs> there, racism knows no bounds. Okay, now remember, it's not like, well, you say, oh, well, you can't put it on Trump. This, okay, yes, it, he's the one that brought Gorka in. He's the one that, by all accounts, wanted him all over TV. He was actually a little sad that when Kelly removed him from, from the White House. Okay, and he's a colleague and et cetera, et cetera. But does Trump also believe that? Don't forget that while Trump was running for president, he put, uh, he retweeted this deeply, deeply racist and completely wrong uh, so-called factoid meme. Here, watch this. It says USA crime statistics 2015. Blacks killed by whites, 2%. Blacks killed by police, 1%. Whites killed by police, 3%. Well, that seems pretty high. More whites than blacks killed as a percentage, interesting. Whites killed by whites, 16%. Whites killed by blacks, 81% blacks killed by blacks, 97%. You're not gonna be surprised to find out that every stat in there is completely wrong. I mean, how do you look at that? Only a racist would look at that and go, oh yeah, that's right. Look, 
here, let's repeat the most relevant ones. Whites killed by whites, 16%. Whites killed by blacks. You think blacks are, that 81% of the whites killed in this country are killed by black people? <laughs> you're either incredibly ignorant or you're deeply racist and you're like, oh, it's the black Africans. They're the ones killing everybody. Of course, it's, it's in their nature. You think you move them out of the uh, you know, out of the inner city and you move them to another place and they won't do the same thing. You know what they are, they're black Africans. Okay, you wanna know the real stat? Among white murder victims, in fact, 81.3% were killed by someone who is white. Why? Because black people live next to black people and white people live to, next to white people. I wish it weren't uh, so true in America, but uh, there is de facto segregation. And usually uh, friends kill each other, family members kill each other, people who know each other, neighbors kill one another, lovers kill one another. So it is unsurprising that more uh, blacks are killed by fellow blacks and whites are killed by fellow whites. They said that whites uh, were killed other whites at a 16% rate, the real number is 81%. But Trump tweeted that because he's an effing racist. He is, he is, and so is Gorka. And they go on TV and they say things like, no, don't believe your lying eyes that a white pe a person did a mass shooting there. And that it, because of his bump stock and, and his ability to fire that gun, he murders so many more people than he could have otherwise done. No, 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 my buddies who are the gun manufacturers love that stuff. Blame it on the blacks instead. So let's find out by the way, what Skorka up to these days. So he, he, graphic 49, this, now that he's out of the White House, Sinclair is paying him for propaganda. If you, by the way, anywhere, if you find out your local station is the Sinclair one, never ever watch it. Uh, and then my favorite uh, is, Former strategist to President Trump, that we get, and that's what he was, it's true. This is on his Twitter account. Chief strategist, MAGA coalition. <laughs> what the hell is the MAGA coalition? Uh, so we got a bunch of guys wearing red hats and I'm uh, doing strategy and uh, strategy for them. And uh, uh, we've all decided that the real problem in America is the black Africans. Morons and monsters, the whole lot of them. Watch the Young Turks commercial free, download it or stream it, watch it any way you like at tytnetwork.com slash join.